Hi, welcome to Real Rock Stories and welcome to The Garage. I'm Jack McKissick. Tonight we're featuring Rob Grad. Now I met Rob 17 years ago backstage at the Hollywood Palladium when I did a radio interview with him because he was in the band Kick Tracy. After the interview was over, he just kind of hung out with me back there and we started talking about, of all things, golf. Picture two long-haired rocker dudes talking about the merits of the interlocking or the overlap grip. <laughs> well, fast forward to the present day and I found his email address and I sent him a note to see if he wanted to do another radio interview. He gave me a call and we started talking. I said, you're not going to remember this, but we talked at the Hollywood Palladium. He stopped me mid-sentence. He said, dude, I totally remember that. And that's where this Real Rock story begins. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Grad. <laughs> Great to have you, man. So good to see you. So the first thing that happened after we spoke on the phone again after 17 years was that you sent me a CD of demo songs that you were working on for the No Apology CD. And the first thing that just jumped off the page was how different these songs were than from anything else you had done. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just coming through a time in my life, you know, making big changes in my life. And one of the things musically was that I just realized I wasn't listening to the kind of music I was playing anymore, you know? And I was, I was in a band called Superfine after Kick Tracy, and, and that was more of an indie rock kind of thing. And, you know, I'd heard Sonic Youth for the first time is kind of when I started that band, you know, with funky tunings and everything. And, and I just kind of realized I wasn't listening to that anymore. And so I'd kind of spawned off, and I'd had these sort of semi-acoustic ideas that I wanted to try. And so I just kind of finished a couple songs and randomly got introduced to a guy named Bart Hendrickson. Now, Bart was the head writer for Hans Zimmer. Um, big movies, uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and Bart was working all those movies with that guy. And I got introduced to him and played him an acoustic version of a couple of the songs I'd been working on. He really loved them. And so we started recording together. And, um, but then he got into a movie last summer and started getting busy and so forth. And that's about the time you randomly called, you know, right. or emailed. And, and so when I sent you those, you know, we started talking. I ended up coming out here. You introduced me to Kelly Chase, who ended up helping me to produce, continue producing the album. Right. Uh, we finished a song called No Apologies, and she brought that to Cliff Williams from ACDC, who loved that, and then he wanted to get involved, and it's just been amazing since then. And No Apologies is not only the first single, but it's also the name of the CD. Is that like your motto now, or? For the moment, yeah. You know, I mean, any album is sort of a, a a snapshot in time, you know, and no apologies to me is about not apologizing for who we are. And that was part of the change I was going through. It's just sort of learning for me, you know, to be authentic in my interactions with people and in my music too. I mean, this is the most honest music I've ever made, there's no doubt about it. And um, that particular song, I kind of started some of it and I saw an interview with uh, Drew Barrymore on David Letterman. And she was kind of talking about Something very similar, you know, she was coming through where she had made some big changes in her life recently and, she, and I think the quote she actually put on the, the thing that night was, let your freak flag fly. And I just <laughs> loved that, you know, what a great thing to say. And I was just relating to her, you know, this is kind of where I'm at right now. And that song kind of came out about a week later. That doesn't mean you're going to jump up on here and flash me, does it? Only if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather hear the song. Gotcha. All right, we can do that. <laughs> All right, let's hear no apology, shall we? Cause if we 
careful conversations. No apologies for anything we're not. Before you lose yourself, sweetheart, and go blowing us apart, what if you Don't